Today, we are going to learn about the zero conditional in English grammar. This is an important grammar topic that will help you understand and express situations that always happen or are generally true. So, let's get started. The zero conditional is used when we want to talk about situations that are generally true or always happen under certain conditions. To form the zero conditional, we use the simple present tense in both the if clause and the main clause. The structure of the zero conditional is quite simple. We start with the word if, followed by the simple present tense that describes the condition, and then we have the simple present tense that describes the result. For example, if it rains, the ground gets wet. Let's look at some more examples of the zero conditional. If you heat ice, it melts. If you mix red and blue, you get purple. If you don't water plants, they die. As you can see, these sentences describe things that generally happen or are always true when specific conditions are met. Great job, everyone! Now you know how to use the zero conditional in English grammar. Remember, practice is key to mastering this important grammar topic. Keep working on it, and you'll be able to express general truths and situations that always occur under specific conditions with ease. This video was brought to you by TalkPal. TalkPal is an AI language tutor, powered by GPT technology. It is the most efficient way to learn a language. You can chat about an unlimited number of interesting topics, either by writing or speaking. It corrects your grammar and provides feedback on your messages. It helps you practice listening, reading, writing, and speaking while engaging in interesting and exciting conversations. You can start using it today at Talk.